As a hunter, it is your responsibility and your duty to know the laws and regulations. The information I'm about to share with you is specific to deer hunting and it only applies to hunters in Illinois. Everything I'm going to cover is free public information that you can easily find at the IDNR's website. Just go to dnr.illinois.gov and you can find it there. So the purpose of this video or podcast, depending on how you're tuning in, is to basically just condense down a whole lot of information from the DNR and make it easy to understand and more palatable for the public. Although this video should be sufficient for most of you, I still do recommend going and actually reading this information yourself in case I miss something. This isn't meant to be a complete replacement guide to the laws and regulations, more so just a quick start guide, if you will. So whether you're a new hunter that's just not familiar with the laws, or you're from out of state and you're planning a hunt in the state of Illinois, this should be a good video for you. Number one is who can and cannot hunt. So obviously, if you're going to deer hunt or do any type of hunting at all, you do have to be licensed to hunt. You have to have the proper tags. You have to have the proper permits. Obviously, to get licensed, you have to take a hunter safety course. Or if it's, I think if you're over the age of 21, you can hunt with somebody that is also over the age of 21 that is licensed and there is an apprenticeship program. You can learn more about that. I don't know much about it, so don't take my word for it. That is something you might want to do your own research on. But if you have successfully passed a hunter safety course in Illinois or an apprenticeship program, you are good to go ahead and get your license at any DNR vendor. That could be Walmart, that could be Runnings, that could be any, any store that sells uh, hunting and fishing tags. You could even do it online if you want. So number two is going to be licenses, permits, tags, etc. Above everything, you need a hunting license. And that's something that you actually buy annually. And you have to, if you hunted last year, you just give them your last year's hunting license. They should be able to look you up, if not, with your information. Um, I think they're usually about 10 bucks, 11 bucks, maybe. You need a state habitat stamp that looks like that's going to be five dollars this year for the year of 2024 to 2025 a super senior habitat stamp 75 years or older it's free the firearm permits for resident is 25 dollars for either sex permit 300 dollars for non-resident uh antlerless only permit 1750 for resident 25 or 100 dollars for non-resident archery permits combination archery permit that's one either sex and one antlerless permit. Starting at $25 for residents and $410 for non-residents. Single either sex permit. Single antlerless only permit. Comes in at $17.50 for resident. $25 or $100 for non-resident. So real quick, I just want to mention this. So there is going to be a change in the archery season this year. This is different from last year. Uh, so there's a county specific deer archery change and that is an effect from October 1st to October 30th and the affected counties are Champaign, Douglas, Macon, Moultrie, and Piat. Um, so basically to grow deer pop it says to grow deer populations to appropriate county goals only antler deer may be harvested during October 1st through October 30th 2024. So if you live in those counties Make sure you don't shoot a doe until October 31st. Archery, obviously. Now we need to go over where can you hunt. Obviously, Illinois is filled with public land, but I think Illinois has, Illinois has a lot more private land than it does public. So you might be in one of those situations where you don't live very close to private DNR-owned hunting land. Your best bet might be to go door knocking and find permission from somebody to go hunting on their property. I recommend downloading an app called Onyx. It is great for finding public land and doing some aerial scouting. And it actually gives tax information of people that own specific properties so that you could actually reach out to these people and ask for permission to hunt their properties. That's how I have found a lot of hunting properties to hunt is by literally just going and asking because a lot of people that own land around here they might not even live around here they might live up in chicago they don't even care 
honestly, they probably wouldn't even know if you did, but obviously do not do that. Get permission. Get a lease. Leasing is what a lot of people I know do, um, where you actually pay to lease a property for the hunting season. Go on Onyx. Trust me, you'll you'll find public land. There's more of it than you think, um, even if you got to travel a little bit. Make sure you read the site-specific regulations. If you go to the DNR website and you look at DNR-owned public hunting land, you should be able to find a list, especially if you look up your county. It should be able to show you all the public hunting land that's available to you, what animals are available to you, what seasons, and there are some site-specific regulations. Make sure you read those. And a lot of the time that you hunt public land, you do have to have window stickers um, I don't know if they're actually stickers, but um, permits, a card that goes in your window that you get on the IDNO website. It's free. You print them off, and that is site-specific, so make sure you do that. All right, number five, I have when can you hunt. So now we're going to actually talk about uh, seasons and what you can actually do. And this is actually going to... So I have at number seven, I have weapon restrictions. So we're going to kind of cover that here with in the uh, same. So five and seven are kind of the same. When can you hunt and what can you use? Archery season starts October 1st through to 21st of November 2024. So from October 1st to November 21st, you are free to archery hunt using a compound or a recurve bow over the draw weight of 30 pounds at least. And then we have the second season going from the 25th, the second season going from the 25th of November through to the 4th of December. And then again, the 9th of December through 19th of January, 2025, which would be the last day for archery period until next 2025 season. And that applies only to counties with a firearm season and west of Route 47 and Kane County. Archery season for Cook, DuPage, Lake, and Kane County, east of Route 47. Archery season starts the 1st of October through the 19th of January, 2025. There is no firearm season, so it just goes all the way through from October 1st to January 19th. Firearm season, so shotgun, muzzle loader, handgun, single shot, center fire rifle. That is the 22nd through to the 24th of November, and the 5th through the 8th of December, 2024. Two weeks of firearm season here in Illinois. You can see why the majority of hunters in Illinois are bow hunters. Muzzle loader is 13th to the 15th of December, 2024. Late winter antlerless shotgun muzzle loader. Uh, 26th through 29th of December 2024, and 17th to 19th January 2025. Antlerless only. Youth firearm, we have the 12th to 24th October 2024. Now we're going to talk about baiting. So this one's kind of a gray area. Not really, but it might seem like it when you read it at first. So I want to talk about real quick baiting, because this is something that's commonly misunderstood. It says here on the IDNR website, hunting deer over salt, mineral, or bait. It says you cannot legally feed deer at any time and or take deer by the use of aid or of bait or baiting of any kind. Despite their widespread availability, deer baits and attractants commonly sold in stores are also illegal to use at any time except for use by properly licensed owners of captive cervids while feeding captive animals. For the purpose of this section, bait means any material, whether liquid or solid, including food, salt, minerals, and other products that can be ingested, placed, or scattered in such a manner as to attract or lure white-tailed deer. Baiting means the placement or scattering of bait to attract deer. An area is considered baited during the presence of and for 10 consecutive days following the removal of the bait. So that means, so when you read this, you might immediately think, okay, well, baiting is not legal in Illinois, but why do they sell bait in the stores? Well, hold on a minute. This is why I say it's kind of a gray area for some people. And it says next here, for the purpose of taking white-tailed deer, nothing in the section shall be construed to prevent the manipulation, including mowing, 
or cutting of standing crops as a normal agricultural or soil stabilization practice, food plots, or normal agricultural practices, including planting, harvesting, and maintenance, such as cultivating or the use of products designed for scent only and not capable of ingestion, solid or liquid, placed or scattered, in such a manner as to attract or lure deer. So basically, don't just take my word for it. I want you to do your own research. But basically, to me that's saying food plots done correctly are legal to use. Tilling up the land, cultivating, and planting seeds for food plots, completely legal. Using bait such as mineral rocks, uh, the, the liquid deer bait, and dumping corn uh, in front of your stands, technically, that's baiting. Um, and here's the gray area. And it's confusing even for me, and maybe someone can clear this up for me, but basically what it's saying is that you can do these things as long as you are not hunting over active bait or not hunting that area where the bait was within a certain amount of distance from it at 10 days after. So if you're going to put bait out by your tree stand somewhere or in an area that you plan to hunt, you have to remove it 10 days prior to when you're going to hunt that. Otherwise, it's considered baiting, and you can get a hefty fine for that. Don't try it. If you want to be safe, just don't bait at all. Now we're going to talk about bagging limits. So how many deer can you shoot? No hunter, regardless of the quantity or type of permits in his her possession, may harvest more than two antlered deer during a year, including the youth, archery, firearm, and muzzle, muzzleloader seasons. No hunter may harvest more than one deer per permit during any, during any deer hunting season. For the purpose of this harvest limit, deer seasons are considered to be in the same year if their opening dates are within the same 12-month period that begins July 1st. Deer harvested during the special CWD deer season, select counties only, do not count towards the antlered buck limit. No hunter may harvest any all-white, white-tailed deer at any time. If you see an albino deer, don't shoot it. Okay, real quickly, I just want to cover something um, I didn't think of earlier. Tree stand requirements. You cannot legally use more than one tree stand or ground blind at any IDNR-owned or managed site. Construct or use any tree stand using nails, screws, or any device which pierces or cuts the bark of the tree, which is installed on IDNR owned or managed site. Tree stands must be portable and removed at the end of each day unless otherwise specified in site specific regulations. Keyword there. Clothing requirements. Really, there's really only requirements in the shotgun and uh, fire, any firearm season. A solid blaze orange or blaze pink cap or hat and an upper outer garment displaying at least 400 square inches of solid blaze orange or blaze pink material must be worn. All right, now real quick, I wanna talk about how to attach your tags. This is gonna be pretty quick. Basically, it shows it right here. You can go to the website, but um, if you get an antlered deer, you attach the tag at the base of the antler, doesn't matter which side. If you get an antlerless deer, you, you cut a slit in the back of the leg there, there's a joint there, you want to attach the tag there. How do you attach it? You use something like a zip tie. Keep those in your field pack, and you can zip the zip the zip tie on the. There's there's little perforated holes on a hunting license or I'm sorry, a hunting permit. There's little perforated holes they put on it, and these permits have to be signed by you, the hunter, and in your pocket on you at all times when you're hunting and these tags have to be on anytime you're transporting it doesn't matter if it's to the taxidermist to your house to the processor and that brings me to my next and final point reporting your kill so in illinois and just about anywhere when you kill an animal you have to report your kill to the dnr some people don't they're wrong Mandatory deer harvest registration. All, har all deer harvested during muzzleloader, youth, archery, late winter, antlerless only, special CWD season, and during firearm season counties without CWD surveillance must be registered by 10 p.m. on the same calendar day the deer was harvested by calling the toll-free telephone check-in system at 
1-866-436-4325 or 1-866-IL-CHECK or by accessing the online checking system at www.explorerealil.com slash wildlife slash harvest. You kill a deer, you tag it, you report it by 10 p.m. of that same day. Simple. Uh, you're not going to harvest deer after 10 p.m. unless you, well, that's not true. You could, you're not going to shoot a deer past 10 p.m. because of the illegal light. One thing I forgot to cover real quick, but it's kind of um, general knowledge and it's kind of common sense. Shooting hours, you can only shoot deer up to a half hour before sunrise or a half hour after sunrise. You cannot shoot deer at night. But like I said, most people should know that. You have to be able to see. It's called legal light. You have first light and last light. Make sure that you are actually looking and seeing at what you are shooting at, please. So guys, that pretty much sums up the video today. If you liked my video, please let me know in the comments if you want me to do more videos like this. I thought about doing one for dove and for turkey, and I could, I could do a video like this for all species if you want me to. I enjoyed making this video, and if I can help somebody out there, that's the goal of this. Like I said, my goal is to make more hunters aware of the laws and regulations that are out there. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter if you've been hunting for a long time. I've been hunting for nine years here in Illinois. Laws really haven't changed much since I've started hunting, but you always need to brush up on them and make sure there's no big changes. I know Michigan this year had a whole bunch of changes to their hunting laws. So if you live in Michigan, make sure you look into that doesn't matter where you live. You should always know these laws and regulations, especially if you don't want to lose your hunting license or get uh, picked up by a game warden. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you wouldn't mind, like the video, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button with the little bell so it notify you anytime I upload. And if you want some cool hunting or fishing merch, there's some at my website, DeerCreekSportsman.com. Go check it out. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks.